To do registration on your iPad, you're going to start off by going into PowerSchool. Now, I'm going to search for PowerSchool here, and there are actually two different versions of PowerSchool uh, that you have on your iPad. You have one with the blue P, and then you have one with a white P. They both are navy blue apps, but the color of the letter P in the center of that app is different. Um, the blue P is the PowerSchool app that will not work for registration. So you need to use the PowerSchool web link, which is the blue app with the white P. Um, that will take you into the website version uh, of PowerSchool that looks like this. Now you may also get to PowerSchool by clicking on the link from your building website. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my username and password uh, to log in. Now it's important to note that your username is your uh, first part of your email address, not your complete email address, just the first part before the at symbol. Uh, it's on the sticker that's on the back of your iPad. Your password is your first initial, followed by your student number, then your last initial, all lowercase. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now, once I've signed in to PowerSchool, on the left-hand side over here, you're going to see an option that says Class Registration. That's what I want. Now, once I log in, uh, you're going to notice a bunch of these courses are already filled in for you. So your advisory, your core classes like science, social studies, math, and ELA, and your PE and any academic intervention classes are already going to be filled in for you. Um, it will not tell you who your teachers are. You will not find that out until your schedule um, comes out, but you don't have to worry about filling these in. The part you want to focus on is this part down here at the bottom where you're going to have three sections essentially that you are going to fill out. You have year-long electives that require teacher approval. You have electives by preference. These are your choice that does not require teacher approval. And then you have some simple alternatives that if you don't get your first choice. So year-long electives that require teacher approval are band, choir, orchestra, and sigma. So the way choosing electives works is you need two total credit hours of electives. Each credit hour counts for one year's worth of a course. So if I was going to take a year-long elective, that year-long elective is going to be a one credit hour course, which means it's going to take the full year. So I essentially have four semesters worth of electives that I can choose from. So that four semesters worth of electives will be filled up depending on whether I take year-long or semester courses. So let's say I am in a teacher-approved year-long elective. So I'm going to simply go over here to the little pencil icon, and when I tap on the pencil, this will show me my year-long courses, and it shows me that, again, they're worth one credit hour. That one credit hour simply means, again, that this is a year-long course which takes two of my four semesters of my electives. So here I'm going to choose which teacher approved um, year long electives I'm in. Now, these are again have to have a teacher approval. Um, you can't just sign up for these without a teacher uh, giving you permission. Now, band, choir, and orchestra uh, take place during the elective block. So they will take up one full semester or full year of uh, your elective. Sigma actually alternates with PE. So if you are actually in Sigma, that will not count against your um, electives. So if you took, maybe you're in orchestra and band, um, those would count for two full year-long electives. And then you could technically still be in Sigma because Sigma, again, counts, uh, just alternates with PE. It does not count as one of your blocks. Now, other year-long elective options are your foreign language options. Now, foreign language do not require teacher approval. That's why they don't show up here, but they will require a full year's worth of credits, one credit hour uh, and two semesters for that full year of a foreign language class. So let's say I'm in band and I'm in percussion here. So I'm going to click on that and click OK. So once I do that, you should see it show up here. It tells you this is a one credit hour class. So that means that's taken up one of my two elective credit hours uh, by choosing band. 
So now I'm going to choose my preference to electives. These are the, again the ones that are not teacher uh, don't require teacher approval. So if I tap on the pencil, um, I have important to note two pages worth. So there's one page here, and then down at the bottom there's a number two, and this will show me the second page of electives. So now if you're not familiar with what these are, um, you can find the descriptions in your course book. Now. Uh, again, you'll notice foreign language classes like French, German, and Spanish are listed as one credit hour classes, which means they will take a full year's worth. Now, if I go back to page one, you'll notice that these are all half credit, which means one semester long class. So because I've taken band already, which is a year long course, that means I have two semesters left. So I could take a year long foreign language class if I want, but in my case, I enjoy computers, so I'm gonna take two semesters of different computer classes. So I'm gonna take maybe digital media and computer science. Those are both 0.5 credits, which equals 1.0 total, which again are two different semesters that equal a full year. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So now you'll see I have a one credit hour band class and two half credit hour computer classes which total equal two credit hours, which fills up my entire year. Now, if everything works out and you get your first choice, that's great. But sometimes your electives don't work in your schedule or maybe aren't offered on times when you have hours available. So it's important to pick some alternatives, other classes that you would also like in case your first choice doesn't work out. So, and that's what you'll do here under alternative electives by preference. So if I tap on my pencil, here I can choose up to six um, different options. Again, I have two pages worth. Um, same options I had before, but I'm going to choose some other options of other elective classes I'd also like to take in case those first ones aren't available. So maybe I would like to take um, a design class or maybe a PLTW class and maybe a fax class and then click OK. And so those, again, are listed as my alternatives in case these don't work out. Now, once you've finished, you should see a little green check mark next to every single line all the way down here. And as long as you see a green check mark all the way down, uh, then you're ready to submit. So you won't see it here on mine, but you're actually going to have a big submit button that's going to show up on the bottom of your page. And once you hit submit, then you have finished your course registration.